Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Gay marriage legislation is not local law, it's an EU directive. Big business and big politics, a healthy or harmful mix. High tech summit sets 21st century agenda for growth. Electric vehicles to be fitted with false motor sounds. Finally, Barrack is back with a stark warning over EU-UK exit. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Congratulations must go to Andrew, our revered webmaster, for investigating the audit trail on this particular article. Put forward as a Liberal proposal with the David Cameron seal of approval, our eminent PM was perhaps hoping to kid the good people in Britain that this new legal stance on gay marriage originated in the halls of Westminster. Well, sorry to disappoint folks, but it's not so. Andrew has discovered this is another EU directive, and a deeply controversial one. I won't cover the obvious issues, but one aspect of this which has not been covered is the power this legislation has to preside over the actions of the Church. There is a big problem here, because this is a breach of our Constitution, as State and Church must have clear separation. The full details, along with the links back to references to the EU programmes and reports that have been created and fostered this legislation, is all in Andrew's report. Links are below. Another stunning article also headlining on our front page. You've heard me talk about the New World Order and corporate globalists and how they exercise enormous power and control over governments through funding, lobbying and financial control. This article digs into the dirty tricks and campaigns of manipulation going on to explain how our democracy is subverted behind the closed doors of the EU Commission. Now this is an interesting announcement by the EU. Details of what the overall markers will be are a little sketchy at this point. In short, the EU has called a summit to consider steps it might take to advance, reform and revitalise European manufacturing industries with a focus on high-tech research. The Grenoble summit will be asked to consider key enabling technologies, things like nanotechnology, photonics and advanced materials science, industrial biotechnology. There is a tie-in here with the Billion Euro Technology Research and Development Prize that I reported on last week. Of course, our research team will keep their ear to the ground for reports and legislation as it arrives, and I will update you on this channel. This is the second story in tonight's nightly news following the common thread of disguising EU directives as some kind of national or regionally influenced policy. This is, in my view, a deliberate attempt by our Euro Bureau megalocleptocrats to create the illusion of democracy. And before I read through the news on the unit.com, I heard this morning on the local radio that some regional minister had proposed that electric cars should be fitted with false engine noises to stop people walking in front of them and getting run down. Well, aside the obvious issues about whose responsibility it is for an individual's welfare, this lady MEP was presented as being the proposer of the policy idea. Well, in actual fact, she's simply a stooge, just another Eurodroid following out the orders of the Autocratic Commission. Here for your delight is the root directive in our legislation section. Let the FUD continue. Why so desperate, Mr Obama? Are you concerned that if the Eurozone stabilises, the bankrupt Federal Reserve might come under scrutiny and then all bets on US Treasuries will be off? This article looks at the fear, uncertainty and doubt campaign being waged on all fronts. I reported yesterday on Tony Blair's vacuous claims about the single European market. Well, it appears that Barack has instructed Vice President Joe Biden to issue a stark warning that if Britain left the EU, it would damage world peace. Uh <clears throat> Calling Mr Ronnie Barker. If you have a moment, please. Fuck the walk! This Ithering Blidia has got to be paking the tiss! Now, now, 
One shouldn't throw stones in glass houses, Mr. Obama. World peace disrupted. We are not the ones signing off regular global drone strikes over croissants and cappuccinos every Tuesday, which has all been publicly declassified in the mainstream media. Today in our video library, we have a film report from Al Jazeera TV. Who led Europe into the crisis? And who can lead it out? The European Union is in deep crisis and its very future hangs in the balance. At the centre of the EU's crisis is the Euro, the symbol of Europe's dream, as well as its unfolding nightmare. The predictions are becoming ever more dire as critics say it is clear that the single currency project has failed. But could this crisis be an opportunity? That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>